Hi everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Dyson Supersonic hairdryer and I'll be talking you through all of the attachments, what they're designed for, how to use them. If you like this video please do give it a like and subscribe to my channel because I post lots of similar kind of content to this. So I'll just start by going through all of the attachments. So first of all is the styling concentrator which is a narrower attachment that focuses the airflow into specific sections of the hair. It allows for precise styling, such as creating a sleek, straight look or adding volume at the roots. The next is the smoothing nozzle. This attachment is designed to provide a gentle, wide airflow for a smooth, controlled styling experience and it's mainly used for reducing flyaways. Next is the wide tooth comb. This attachment is useful for detangling wet hair whilst you're drying. It helps to minimise hair breakage and damage while maintaining the airflow efficiency of the supersonic hair dryer. Then we've got the gentle air attachment. This attachment is designed to be gentler on the scalp. It's suitable for those with sensitive scalps or fine hair. It diffuses the hair and creates a softer airflow. And then we've also got the diffuser, which is designed for individuals with curly or wavy hair. It disperses the airflow more evenly, helping to encourage natural curls and reduce frizz without causing excessive disturbance to the hair's texture. And then finally, we've got the Dyson Detangling Comb, which is specifically designed to help detangle and style wet or damp hair. I also think this would be a really nice tool for dressing out any curls at the end, because the teeth are nice and wide, it won't brush out your curls too much, um, so it will just give you that nice wavy look. Alright, so I will just get straight into the tutorial. Um, I have used the Dyson Air Wrap before, but I've never actually used the just like regular hair dryer. So I'd be interested to see how I get on with the nozzle. And also I'm really excited to use the little flyaway attachment. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much just going to do the blow dry that I would always give myself and just see how it compares with the Dyson. Um, so I just want like, I just want like a nice bouncy blow dry with lots of movement, lots of volume <clears throat> and lots of body at the ends as well. Like I want the ends to have quite a lot of width to them because I feel like it just makes my hair look a lot thicker. So I do like to put a bend in the ends as well as getting the volume at the root because then I'm just, you know, nice and thick all the way down. <laughs> so my hair is just nice and thick all the way down, right? I'm not claiming that. The heat protection that I've been using and enjoying lately is the Revlon Professional Unique One um, Leave-In Conditioner. Really does feel amazing. As soon as you put it in, so I bought it not knowing that it was technically a leave-in conditioner. I just bought it thinking it was a heat protection. Um, and I tried it and I was like, this is as good as my 21 benefits from Purology, which is, I think it's like 18 pounds. It's exactly the same. It's like so similar in the way that it feels. I think that the 21 benefits has got a few more ingredients that are supposed to like repair your hair a little bit more. But in terms of how they feel, even how they smell, this is as good. And I love my 21 benefits. Like I love my 21 benefits, but this is, as good and it's six pounds this is the third time i've bought this now and i've recommended it to my friend so like love 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 another tip if you're using your heat protection is that i see lots of girls like on tiktok and stuff and they kind of go like this and then they're done but it's just that's not gonna cut it you know what you want to do is like i literally go through section by section and i do three squirts on each section and i drop a bit more and i do three more three more and I just keep doing that the whole way through because I want my hair to be coated <coughs> sorry I want my hair to be coated in my heat protection I don't want any hairs left untouched like I want all of them to be like saturated in the heat protection which is why it being six pounds is such a plus but anyway okay cool I'm just gonna go on medium heat and full like blast strength what would you call that whatever that is So first impressions, I really like the direction of the air when you're, even without a nozzle, like it really feels like I can direct the hair and it will go in that one spot, whereas some hair dryers the air just seems to like flow everywhere. I do think now I'm just going to comb through it a little bit and then I will go in with my nozzle and my paddle brush and I'm going to start properly drying some of the ends. And then the attachments are all metallic. Yeah, good. And they have like a lot of hold. Um, so that's really good. I said this before in other videos, but my hair dryer, like my main hair dryer that I've been using for the past year, the nozzle is so annoying. It's actually the bane of my life. It's like 
you'd knock it just slightly and it falls off and it seems that when the hairdryer gets hot the plastic kind of loosens up and it's a swivel like you're supposed to swivel it on but it just falls off every second and then i got a different hairdryer by a brand called timo and that also had a magnetic um nozzle and it was amazing and i was sold and this has a magnetic nozzle as well and i'm sold again okay and then i'm just gonna start to um dry it now with a puddle brush just to get the ends dry as well because it's easy to dry the roots with your rough dry but then to actually get to the mid lengths like these are still very wet and it's just a pain All right, and now I'll get into the actual blow dry. I'm gonna do like just a very standard bouncy blow dry. I'm gonna start at the back, curl everything away from my face. Then when I come around to the front, I'll start curling things towards my face. Just clip all of this hair out of the way. And then yeah, I'll literally just split that in half because it's quite a small section at the bottom. And I'll just twist those both away from my face. I do have a very, very detailed step-by-step -step, like beginner tutorial for exactly how to give yourself a curly blow dry if you're interested in that because this is going to be more just like my thoughts on the Dyson rather than like a step-by-step -step tutorial. Um, and I am going to move up to the highest temperature now that my hair is like 90% dry just to really finish it off. But I would recommend rough drying your hair from wet with the hottest temperature. And then um, I'll just go in with the cool setting quickly. Also, I just turned the power down to the medium setting, which like I've never ever done that before on a hairdryer. So I'm normally like the hairdryers aren't powerful enough. Every hairdryer that I try, I wish that it was m more powerful because obviously it's just faster. But this is so powerful. It was like blowing all of my baby hairs just all over the place um but that is a good thing because like it means when you're rough drying your hair and you're doing like the initial part of your blow dryer you're getting a lot of power out of this dryer and i think that's to do with the nozzle like it's really really directed um but yeah that's just worth mentioning like i swear i've never used the medium setting before i've just never felt the point i'm like why would i not want the most powerful one but genuinely this is like really really powerful That is really pretty, that girl. I kind of wish I'd done all of my hair going backwards because I think that could have looked cute, but it doesn't matter. I actually never do my fringe like this. I normally do, I get both of the sections and I do them together and then I put them in a roller. But my hair's getting longer and I feel like it would just be nice if this could kind of just blend into the rest of my hair. So I'm just going to like treat it like a normal piece of hair and see how that goes. <laughs> I've had a change of heart, it's going backwards. Yeah, I think that looks 
nice. All right. I'm also going to use the little, what's it called? Like the little flyaway attachment as well, because I do have loads of flyaways at the moment. But in terms of the actual hairdryer, that was like really easy to use. The nozzle I felt like was really, really good at directing the air exactly where I wanted it. Sometimes, like I said earlier, when you're blow drying, it can be a bit of a nightmare if the direction of the air isn't good enough because you only really want to have the air going on the part that you're currently brushing. But if the nozzle is not very good, then it can just like blow everything and it will really mess up the previous sections that you did. So I really like that. Like I said, the power is so good that I had to turn it down one, which is an absolute first. Um, so the power is 10 out of 10. Heat as well, I was using it on the hottest setting, but I think I could have got away with using the middle setting if I had a bit more patience. But yeah, felt good. Good good temperature control too, because as soon as I pressed the cool button, it only took a few seconds for it to cool down. Some hair dryers, like, especially if they're a bit older, they just get so hot that it takes ages for it to actually get cool. So yeah, all in all, I'm really happy with this. And then I'm going to use the little flyaway attachment. I'm so excited. Uh, that's actually really good. There are still a few standing up, but I think they're just stubborn. Wait, but that's actually so cool. Yeah, I can definitely see what the hype is. I know now why everyone raves about the Dyson because that was just so easy and it felt just so effective. But yeah, that's everything. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please do give it a like and subscribe because it really helps my channel a lot. Um, and if you've got any questions, just leave me a comment down below and I'll definitely get back to you. Or if there are any hair dryers that you can think of that are comparable to the Dyson, let me know as well because I'd love to try them out. But yeah, that's everything. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.